Hundreds of Afghan refugees are still waiting to be resettled after evacuating Afghanistan in August of last year. Many have transitioned out of military bases, but some still remain. Fox 13's Eliana Sheriff introduces us to a man who's helping those refugees feel a little more at home in a way that is positively Utah. They fled for their lives, literally with nothing, right? We all saw the pictures over the summer. After militants took over Afghanistan last August, tens of thousands of Afghan refugees made an escape for their lives. Five months later, thousands are still in limbo, waiting to go to their new homes. Then they're shipped to different bases internationally, and then they find a, a temporary home on a military base. Life on the base can be lonely. That's why Adam Miles, founder of the nonprofit Refugee Soccer here in Utah, recently made the trip to Holloman Air Force Base down in New Mexico. <laughs> Adam says he drove down not once but twice, his car jam-packed with 400 pairs of shoes ready to put smiles on kids' faces. The opportunity to go and play soccer as a, as a, as a release for these kids, um, they just love it. I mean, America is getting on board with kind of the last country to kind of get on board with how amazing soccer is, but it is the world sport and they call it the beautiful game for a reason. He says they worked with a couple hundred children at this clinic. It kind of blows me away just how polite and wise and how strong they are and how optimistic. The vast majority do not speak any English, but they understand soccer. He founded Refugee Soccer as a way to bridge the mainstream and refugee communities through this sport. Regardless of skin color and religion and cultural differences and gender and whatnot, we are really just the same humans. We all want and need the same things. While he's now back home in Utah, his work isn't done. It takes so little to do so much. He's now looking to start a local chapter for Afghan refugees to continue to have that sense of community through soccer. And to watch the smiles on the face of these kids, I mean, that's, that's the whole reason I do this and we'll keep doing it. In Salt Lake City, Eliana Sher of Fox 13 News, Utah. And Adam says the military is continuing to dismantle the temporary village they had on the base and expect to have people completely transitioned by the end of this month. He says they're expecting another wave of evacuees to arrive in the coming weeks and plans to continue his soccer clinics. Now, if you'd like to volunteer for the refugee soccer program, just go to fox13now.com.